Come, baby. Enjoy this great game. The Texas Rangers are not playing around. What is going on right now? Free agency is going crazy, and the Rangers are at the center of it all. They've signed a few guys to help out, like John Gray. Nice, bolstered that rotation. A guy like Cole Calhoun. Good power, not bad. But on top of that, they signed Marcus Simeon. I made a video on that. One of the better middle infielders in the game. Whoa, Rangers, y'all ain't playing around. Nice, you know, a little round of applause for y'all Rangers for signing Marcus Simeon. And the next thing you know, they signed another middle infielder who is even better. Corey Seager on a massive 10-year deal, $325 million. We're going to get into the details of this, but Corey Seager is going to be a Texas Ranger, and it is not a short-term deal. 10 years, and y'all know how 10-year deals have worked out in the past, including the Rangers in the past. It's bit them in the ass, but they don't, do not care. They're going for it. If you're a Rangers fan, this is a time to be excited, I think. I mean, you'd rather have that than a team just not spending money at all and just sucking every year. Yeah, the contracts are long. They're risky, but you know what? You're going to have a reason to go to Globe Life Field this year, this coming year in 2022, with the team that they're putting together. The Rangers are going nuts right now. Breaking star shortstop Corey Seager. This is Jeff Passan, and the Texas Rangers are in agreement on a 10-year, $325 million deal. Absolutely insane. Jeff Passan says in a span of 24 hours, the Texas Rangers have committed half a billion, boop, 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 billion dollars to sign Corey Seager and Marcus Simeon. Just like that, they've got one of the best middle infielders, uh, sorry, middle infield in baseball as they start their rebuild. Well, I, I, they, this ain't even a rebuilding team at this point. They've already changed themselves from a team that wasn't so good already into a team you're going to have to look out, out for. And they're going to be at the top of a lot of predictions come 2022. I can already tell. They are in the AL West. There is some good teams. Obviously, the Astros, the A's, you know, the Mariners are getting better. And, you know, there's some competition there. But holy crap. I mean, right now, um, and the Angels are getting better too, by the way. But right now, the Rangers are the team that is winning the offseason. There is no doubt about it. And they have signed 10-year deal. Like I've said the last few days, you want the guy, you pay the guy. You got to overpay. You have to overpay. You, you have to. If you just sit there like, that's rip off, forget it. You ain't going to get nobody. You better be good at drafting because you ain't going to get nobody because they're going to take the best deals that they can for the most part. And Corey Seager is going to Texas to play in Arlington, and he's going to get paid $325 million, almost half a billion. And like Jeff Passan said, if you combine him and his Simeon, you are at half a billion dollars. Oh, senor, too much money. Seager is 27 right now, so he'll be about 37. This is going to take care of his career right here pretty much. Corey Seager coming off of a very strong year, hit 306, 394 on base percentage, 915 OPS, 16 home runs this year in just 353 at-bats. He did spend some time on the injured list. His maximum home run number in his career is 26. You got to go back to 2016 where he hit 308, but he is also all around a great player, rookie of the year back in 2016. Decent defender, but that's definitely not, you know, the strongest area of his game. I've heard, you know, a lot of criticism towards his defense. You know, he's certainly, you know, not there for his glove. He's there for his bat, and he is, you know, a really good hitter. You know, 10 years, $325 million uh, for a guy who he's really good, but, you know, Again, I think you're overpaying, but I think you have to overpay if you want the guy bad enough. And Corey Seager, he's going to be in a Rangers uniform. Is he going to finish that 10 years in a Rangers uniform? Alex Rodriguez didn't happen, if you remember. Ended up getting traded to the Yankees. Things don't always go as planned, especially over 10 years. That's a long time, you know, to keep someone in uniform who can continue to play well and be happy there. Because remember, if the Rangers don't win, Corey Seager could become unhappy. You know how it is with these athletes. They want to get traded. They get traded. But um, as far as I'm concerned, you know, the Rangers fans should be excited right now. I'm sure some are, like, questioning this deal uh, because it is crazy. Um, but, again, I, I feel like if, you, if you're the Texas Rangers, you're not the Los Angeles Dodgers, which obviously Corey Seager came up with. You know, he's always been a Dodger, so he's going to probably – desire to stay there if they offer him anything close to this and if you want to outbid the Dodgers you have to offer something like this and say hey come on to Texas here and Corey Seager how can you turn down 10 years 325 million dollars and now they have Simeon they have Seager and they are probably not done yet they're going to add some more pitching I'm sure and uh, the Texas Rangers 
what a season they are having. Or what, excuse me, what an off season they are having right now. And uh, we'll see, though. I, I think there is, to be honest, just speaking honestly, I think there is a decent chance that we look back in three, four, five years from now, we're like, Ooh, yeah, the Rangers blew it in the 2021 to 2022 off season. But there's also a chance that this team can get enough talent that they can win the West, make the playoffs, and make a push. And if they can win a World Series ring, nothing else matters. That's how I look at it. Just like the Barry Zito deal. The Barry Zito deal with the Giants was a horrible signing. But guess what? He helped the Giants win a World Series in 2012. To me, signing's all worth it now for a ring. So I think the Rangers are going out there and they're saying, look, this is a franchise that's never had a World Series ring. They're going out there saying, we're going to win it all. And then after that, who cares? If this deal ends up sucking in the last four or five years and whatever, Corey Seager's not that great when he turns 34, 35, 36, 37. Oh, well, if they can win it all. So this is a huge risk. But if you're a Rangers fan, at least if I were a Rangers fan, I would be on cloud nine right now. Like, hell yeah, it's not my money. It's too much. It's it's not. But hey, that's what you got to do if you want to get the guy. Otherwise, he's going to sign with the Yankees. He's going to sign with the Dodgers and you know, or the Red Sox or one of these big market teams. And, you know, not that Arlington's, you know, a small market, but you know what I mean. So um, congratulations to the Rangers. I love what they're doing right here. And uh, absolutely insane. They just signed Marcus Simeon to a seven-year, $175 million deal. So Seager and Simeon are going to probably together turn about 500 double plays. You know, who knows? But they are going to be there playing together for a long, 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 long time long mother effing long time so uh, congratulations to the rangers and rangers fans let me know what you guys think of this right here do you think this is stupid too much way too much money too long like i i feel like the rangers had to offer this if they wanted their guy and you know free agents are falling off quick ask me as a giants fan you know we're running out of time Robbie Ray also signed, and I'm about to make a video on that. So let me get to that. But let me know what you guys think of this deal. I personally think, yes, it's too much. But if you're a team like the Rangers, you have to do it. And if I were a Rangers fan, I'd be really excited right now. This could fall on their face. But at the same time, y'all are trying to win it all, and you got to respect that. Have a great day. We will talk to y'all next time. See ya. When the Giants come to town, it's fine.